Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 39, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you remember from the last episode, we uh, <laughs> uh, we, we were going to go back... Let me backtrack a little bit further than that. We got kicked out of the Kingdom of Zeal, and the portal to that area has been sealed, so we need to figure out a way to get back. But while we were at Zeal, we realized, huh, we now have a pendant that looks like it could open all the chests and doors that we were unable to open before. So, the intention was to go back and uh, open up all those sealed up goodies, and we kind of got distracted a little bit with uh, some events in the desert. So, today, we're going to try to get back on track with that quest a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to finish collecting all the chests. Man, you can see Robo back there doing his work on the farm. We'll uh, pick him up later. So I, even though that's not part of the, the whole seal the chest thing, we kind of we, we, we got that side quest started a little early. And, well, uh, we started it. We need to finish it. So, <laughs> I mean, there he is working so hard. So we'll come back to, uh, we'll come back to Robo in a little bit. First... We need to head over here to the Magic Cave because this is a location that does not exist at any other point in time in the past or future. That means that this chest over here is not upgradable. So that means we can go ahead and open it, get a Magic Ring. And what did the Magic Ring do? Uh, that would have been one of these guys here. Magic Ring. Oh, increases magic by six. Ooh. Who needs? These are magic increased by six. I want to say Robo actually does. Oh, wait, we don't have him back yet. So uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit later then. All right, so we got our magic ring. Nice. And that's it for the non-upgradable ones. We got the one in Guardia Forest. We just picked up that ring in the magic cave. The next set of non-upgradable ones are over in 1000 AD. Sorry, checking my notes. Um, and some stuff in 2300 AD. So now let's go through some of the upgradable chests. If you remember I, way back when we first came across a few of these, I mentioned them. Uh, let's see, Poor was down here, right? Yes. Uh, so in... Guardy Castle, Truce, and in the Elder's House in the Village of Poor. There we go. So when you have locations like here, where there's multiple chests that, or ch there's chests that exist in multiple time frames. So like this one, these two guys are here in 600 AD, and they're also here in 1000 AD. If you go back to the earliest instance, open it, and it's going to ask you, the item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item. If you say yes, you get a weaker version of the item. If you say no and pick it up later, you get an upgraded version of the item. And then you can go back in the past and pick up the weaker item. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. So we're going to go ahead and trigger these two. Not pick it up in 600 AD. And we're going to repeat this process in two other places. Um, the next one is over at the Truce Inn, which is not here because this village, uh, it, it just didn't make it. Uh, market, residence, yeah, just double checking. Yeah, because that town for some reason is not there in 1000 AD, interestingly enough. All right, so market, residence, we're, uh, true send. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing. We are going to head up this way. See that chest there? This box has been handed out for generations. Should you somehow manage to open it, you are welcome to the contents. Grazie. The item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item. Not yet. Okay. And we've got one more, and that is up in the Guardia Castle. Oh, um, wait a second. 
I feel like I'm missing one. Dead end. And I get clear. There was something over in the uh, in the cathedral too. Let's take a quick run through. Oh, it's a real nun, not the fake one. Oh, that person in church is no doubt watching over you from some distant place. Hmm. All right, let's just do a quick uh, zip through here. Yeah, that's right. That goes all the way across in either direction. Let's go up the left real quick. Oh, that's right, because this was the big thing. So you could pick up an, uh, the uh, Naga egg and trade trade it for one of the uh, tabs with the dude. But since we're here, I'll do one last double check. Because there's something nagging at me, like I forgot something over here, and I don't, don't remember what it was. We're gonna run all through this thing and find out that it was nothing. Oh, there's Maga still, or a statue thereof. I didn't miss a secret door over here. No, definitely not one there. Okay, good, 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 good. I like the less fighting this time around. All right, there was our save. There was our slide. We went up this way. We checked that away. Nothing in here. And okay, yep, nope. I guess it was worth double checking at least because uh, nothing in any there. Get back out and let's get to Guardia Castle because that is where our next one is. And no, that's right. We can't go up the slide for some reason. I mean, we can run all across the countryside without getting tired, but we can't run up a little incline. I thought you were a hero. I just realized that my chat window... There we go. <laughs> okay. So, I'm squinting over there and I see the ultra small text. Yeah, I probably am forgetting something. But it doesn't... That's not it. There we go. Alright, so the last of the upgradable ones that we've got to trigger in... 680 is up here in Guardia Castle. We run through the woods, over the hills and through the woods. I know, I know, I got like a million gold, but you know what? I'll take the free shelter every time. Because I is a cheapskate. And I'm not afraid to mention it. All right, uh, up the stairs on the left side. Oh, no. Nope. That's not it. Although, actually, I should probably come in here and go have um, Sir Glenn just to see if anybody's got any special reactions. 
Injured soldiers have all recovered. Uh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Please, be gentle. Okay. Get up, you lazy bones. Our victory is owed to you. Uh-oh. Frog, I've been considering. No, there is no need for consideration. I would have you take my place as commander should you will be willing to accept the honor. I forgot about this one. I'm afraid I must decline. I'm not suited to such a post. Master of Kitchen. Oh, you served us victory, but I cooked the meal. <laughs> and speaking of cooking, I have a mind to prepare a victory feast. Something truly spectacular to celebrate the Fiend Lord's de defeat. I'll see that generations to come know the name of Chrono. You're alive! We sustained heavy casualties, but thanks to you, our battle is won. Now we must all work together to rebuild. If there is ever any way this kingdom might repay its debt to you, I shall see it done. Gold. Gold works very nicely. Fro <laughs> Frog, I offer my thanks to you again. The valor of your deeds is worthy of the name of Knight. Your Majesty, please do not waste such words of honor on me. Come on, Sir Frog. Frog! So you aided Chrono and the others. You've done a fine service for this kingdom. Please remain here for as long as you wish. We will be honored by your presence. Your kind words are reward enough, Your Majesty. My heart is glad to hear them. Aww. I'm not kidding, though. Gold works very nicely if you're looking for ways to pay back debts. I'm just saying. Alright. The item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item? Not yet. Alright, so those are the three items that are upgradable that we can reach at the moment. And so... Uh, da, 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 there we go. So now, what we're, now that we've activated the chests with the pendant's power... We're going to go take a trip back to the future. <laughs> that was a good movie. Uh, we're going to go back to the future and... Which one was it? There we go. Give me the freebie. Yep. Thank you. No, oh, no. That's a, that's a trap. Cue up your Admiral Akbar gif. Which I'll refrain from because I like my channel. I'd like to keep it for a little bit longer. All right, let's see how many of these guys we can just uh, skip through without causing trouble. Ah, you guys really want to do this? You know you're like 82 levels below us, right? Not that far, but it might as well be. Ooh, I didn't realize that there were some injuries here too. I'll have to take care of that when I get to uh, back to the end of time. Yay, golden XP. Eventually, we will get an item that will let you convert XP to gold. Which doesn't sound like it'd be useful, but this game has a new game plus, which lets you pick up with uh, most of the things you left off with to include levels. And so you will, you know, if you're trying to get as many of the different endings as you can and using the new game plus to accelerate that, um, you, you'll you'll eventually want the XP to gold, especially since you can't take the gold with you. All right, let me do a quick save. Now that we got the uh, party squared away. All right, party. Let's switch back. There we go. And which one's the one I want? Medina Village? No, not yet. Uh, is it here? Lenny Square? Yes. Alright. Let's get out of the fair. And we got a few things to pick up. So, since the truce in... No, that's the mayor's manor. Where is... There's the truce in. 
All right. So there's that box that we had previously activated, and now we get... Da -da -da -da. A blue plate, as opposed to a blue vest. Now, the nice thing about that is the blue plate absorbs water damage. So if you know you're going against somebody heavy on the water attacks, that's a, that's a good one to have. And we'll be able to go back to 600 AD now and pick up the blue vest so we can have two-thirds of the active party resistant to water magic. Which could be very helpful. Dude, you, you don't really want to do this. Why'd you do this? You were an easy fight when I was level one. Bam. Done. Yay, 10 XP. <laughs> and 48 bucks. Come on, guys. Alright, um... Oh, that's right. We can't get to that one just yet. Uh, that's one that we'll have to do in a little bit. So now let's get the upgradable chest that's over here in the castle. And we got red plate. So, as you guessed that the, uh, the blue is water, the red is fire. So that, uh, that absorbs fire, which will, that'll come in handy in a little bit too. That'll be good to know. Alright. And back through the forest we go. Oh wait, no, oh, I keep wanting to go that way, and I can't. I gotta remember which gate to travel through on that one, too. Don't let me forget that I need to go to, <laughs> to the forest. Alright, uh, so that's two of the three. And, oh! Look at this! This wasteland now has a forest. And a shrine. Remember, we helped Fiona plant the uh, the seeds. Robo was over here helping her plant for hundreds of years. And we now have a beautiful forest. Hmm, other changes we've made. All right, we'll come back to that shrine in just a minute because I want to hit up the elder's house real quick. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up these two items. The white vest, or sorry, white plate, and the black plate for lightning and shadow, respectively. And now, uh, uh, what's in Fiona's shrine? I guess you'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> Because we're about, we're, I, I know the next part's going to take more time than I want to extend this episode out. So, I'll leave you in suspense. Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And either way, if you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.